guys, this is Andrea, and I am just gonna do my video all about my rhinoplasty, also known as my nose job. Um, I got it done on December 6th, which was on a Friday, and the way I found my doctor was I was searching for a lot of surgeons here in Palo Alto and the San Francisco area, but they were all giving me quotes at around 14 to 16,000, which I obviously thought it was ridiculous and I thought it was a lot of money. and. Then until my sister finally told me about this doctor, the one that I went with, which was located in Mexico in Tijuana to be exact. And I had searched up all of his reviews and all of that and he seemed like he had great reviews. He worked at a great facility with great doctors. Um, he was board certified. Um, the clinic was certified in terms of um, health standards that they had and like cleanliness and stuff and so I decided to book my appointment with him after searching up a lot of things and if you guys want to know who the doctor is you guys can definitely DM me on Instagram or on Twitter or anything I'll post them down below but I'm not gonna say his name on here because I'm not sure if I can even say his name I've seen a lot of videos of these and none of them rarely say the doctor because and I'm not sure why and I don't know if it's because of privacy reasons but I'm not gonna be saying his name and so I had to arrive there a day before so I arrived there on the 5th and this is a big clinic with three stories it was super beautiful I'll insert clips of the clinic ready Andrea no no el cuarto de Andrea está Andrea ya lista para mañana. Ahorita nos van a traer de comer, que es un caldo de pollo. Uh, the hotel room that I'm staying at, I was staying right there at that same clinic, which was um, hospital beds and stuff, so it would be easier for my recovery. I had nurse care, they had, they gave me food, so I wouldn't have to be wandering around Tijuana like looking for food to eat that I could eat after my nose job because you could only eat, um, you could only eat liquids and soft foods. And so I arrived there the day before for my labs, which basically was like blood work done and I got to see the doctor that day for the first time and the doc getting to see the doctor, I don't know why, it just made everything feel so much more real and I was super nervous that night and I couldn't sleep, I, I was just like up all night and so then the next day came around and I woke up in the morning at 6am because I had to be down at 7. Hi guys, so today is surgery day and right now it's 6 in the morning, like 6.30. And there's no water where I'm at, so I couldn't even shower, but hopefully they turn it on later so that I can shower. But I'm, I was actually more nervous yesterday than I am today. Today I'm more like excited, but I'm still nervous, but I'm more excited right now. And my surgery is until 11, but I have to go down right now at 7 to see the doctor um, one last time because he has a surgery before mine another nose surgery but once he does that he doesn't come out anymore so i need to see him now before my surgery and he's gonna take pictures and stuff and i'm excited and then i'll try to film while i'm over there but again who knows because i kind of feel a little awkward but i'll definitely film when i wake up That same day I got to see the doctor one more time and he went over everything once again what he was gonna do if I had any more questions and he took another set of pictures from the top he took a picture for me from the side from the other side looking down looking up smiling not smiling he took a bunch of pictures and he morphed them for me and showed me how I was gonna look like after um, like the before and after he showed me how I would look like and I approved of how he was going to do it and I actually fell in love with those pictures and I thought and I thought okay well I'm going to do it anyway so then I did it and that same day they made me um they made me undress into my gown already at like 7 30 they made me change into the little gown They made me sign all the paperwork, they made me sign all the consent forms, and they made me pay already. 
and I'm gonna be saying how much I paid so for the surgery and the anesthesia it was a total of 3,300 just for that and you had to do it under the doctor's name and pay the anesthesia in cash um, because you're paying everybody but you're paying everybody differently and you also have to pay the lab work that I got done that day in cash also so for the whole surgery it was 3300 but that's not including the travel the hotel room everything else so in total with including that my surgery probably came close to five thousand dollars five thousand dollars around there yeah that seems like about right and so then after that the late i had to say bye to my mom so I, so I got taken to the little room that you wait in for surgery because my surgery wasn't until 12 because he had to do another nose surgery um prior to mine and so i was waiting there and there was four four reclining chairs and they offered me a blanket um i obviously couldn't eat or drink anything and I was just waiting there watching Netflix. I was trying to watch Gossip Girl, I was changing The Virgin. I was watching anything to take my mind off of things because I was really nervous already. And then I got to meet these other ladies. Um, they came in there, which were obviously getting surgeries too, but with different surgeons. Uh, but in that same facility. And I was talking to them and they were, there was all kinds of different people. There was some from New Orleans. There was some from Romania. There was some from Mexico. And we were all just talking and they were they really helped me with getting stuff off of my mind and they were really sweet and I was waiting there for probably two hours just watching Netflix until then a nurse came in and she went over and confirmed that I am who I am confirmed my date of birth confirmed if I have any allergies and then she said okay I'm gonna do your IVs and that was the part that I was really scared about and nervous because my veins are super thin, but thankfully she got diabetes. got to meet the anesthesiologist and she came and introduced herself to me and she told me how everything was gonna go how I was gonna be put to sleep and she was a lady and she was really nice and then she gave me this um, pill to try to calm down so my nerves can relax and at around 12 they called me back and said that it's time for my surgery and so I took I had to go to the bathroom I had to do all of that stuff that I had to do before which was basically just go to the bathroom and then they made me take off my shoes. They made me put my hair in like a little shower cap looking thing. Um, and I had to take off my shoes, put on like these um, plastic booties almost. And I walked into the room and it was like a big hospital in there. And all the, the doctors were sitting there. There was patients on this side of me um, resting and recovering. I saw the other girl that had just gotten her nose job done and I... I thought oh my god that's gonna be me in a couple hours and so then they took me into this room and it was this white room with the big white lights everywhere and then they sent me down in the little in the little uh, bed that I was gonna be getting my operation in and they started wrapping my legs up with like heating pads they started um, putting heating pads on my body they started putting me blankets and then the anesthesiologist put um, put a a solution inside of my IV and I automatically turned so sleepy like I felt like oh my god I need to take a nap like I just felt so tired and I felt really tired but they had music playing they had like Osuna and them playing I guess that's what the doctor listens to and so I was um trying to think like is this it and I was like no it can't be like imagine I wake up halfway through the surgery and I was trying so hard to stay awake and then she put the mask on me and she told me like okay like you're just gonna fall asleep in a couple of seconds like she didn't count down like there wasn't anything she just told me to keep breathing and i was just breathing and i was trying so hard to stay awake i'm like i'm gonna try to stay awake as long as i can but then i don't know where i just don't remember anything and so that surgery that was the surgery obviously it was going on 
And then when I woke up, when I woke up from the thing, I was dreaming about having my nose done and I thought, oh my god, I'm dreaming. And so I went to touch my nose and I felt that I had the cast on and I was like, and I thought I did it I actually did it and I was so thirsty because you could only breathe through your mouth and I had this big tube down my throat so when I tried to swallow I literally felt this gigantic tube in my throat and immediately I started moving my eyes around and I was like oh my god like somebody please notice me like so they can take away the tube and then the nurse came and she took away the tube and the first thing I asked her was can I have some water and she said no she's like you can't drink water until two hours and I was like what time is it and then she said it's around two and then she's like you barely got it she said it was about 2 to 30 she said and she said I had barely gotten out of surgery so I had to wait there for two hours and I was awake so bored like just hearing everybody talk like I wasn't really in pain I was more like pressure and I felt um, uncomfortable because I couldn't really breathe and I was just so and thirsty. So then fast forward to, it turned out to be like 4.30, almost 5 in the, and it was time for me to get wheeled out to my mom. And the nurses helped me and dressed myself, um, no, not dressed myself, they helped me dress myself and they were putting on my clothes and stuff because I was so weak still from the anesthesia and I hadn't eaten in like, 24 or 48 hours at that point and so they put that stuff and I remember asking them am I bruised am I bruised because I was just curious to know like if I was bruised because usually most people swell up pretty bad and they were like no you look fine and I thought like oh my god what liars like in my head I was like in my head I just kept thinking they're lying to me and they're lying to me they just don't want to tell me the truth and so then they put me in a wheelchair and they gave me my phone and like they gave me my shoes back and I had to sit on this little wheelchair. Trust me, I got put back into the reclining room set. And there is where they told me that I was going to have to see the doctor one more time. And while I was waiting there, I just kept taking pictures of myself. I was like talking to myself. Like I was looking like a crazy woman because I... I like, I just got out of surgery about like an hour ago. And I'm actually surprised with how good I look. I look good. I probably feel good, but I look bruised. But this is my nose. I have stitches right here. And I have stitches right here. It's like not bleeding yet because I don't know why, but I am just feel like pain like if I have a bad headache but like on my face or like if somebody punched me in the face and now I'm waiting for the doctor to come see me I hope I don't get mad though because right now I look great I look like great okay uh, I'm now I'm bleeding and I don't even have those little things. And I don't know why. I don't think anyone. Oh, get over it. Turn up, there was blood coming out of my nose, and the doctor walks in. And he's like, oh, you're bleeding quite a lot from your nose. He's like, he's like, let me give you some solution. So he put um, something inside of my IV again to try to stop the bleeding and for the pain. And he basically went over and told me that what he did, like that, and what to do afterwards to clean my stitches um, twice a day with Neosporin to clean the inside with hydrogen peroxide to use um, saline spray and stuff like that and then i asked him for some weird reason i asked him did you take away the bump off of my nose and he said yeah he said do you want to see pictures of it because i have your pictures and i was like yeah i want to see the pictures like so i can get like that um idea out of my head like i wonder how i look like i wonder how i look like and so he
like and so he showed me the pictures and I freaking fell in love I was like I was speechless I honestly underestimated him and he exceeded my expectations he did everything that I wanted him to do I didn't ask him for a curved nose I asked him for a straight nose I didn't think a curved nose would look so good on me and he told me also he's like I think a straight nose would be better so I took his advice and I went for a straight nose I asked him that I wanted to lift my tip up but not super lifted I didn't want it to look pointy I didn't want it to look super small because I didn't think a small nose would really fit my face I just wanted a more um, nose that would fit my face and so then he basically told me that and he told me that he's gonna post me on his Instagram and he told me that if I had any more questions to please um, don't hesitate to email him and stuff and then they wheeled me back to my mom and I get to see my mom and then we went down to the recovery hotel where I was gonna stay at which was in the same building so basically I just had to go from the third floor to the second floor Aquí está Andrea lista ya que le operaron su nariz parece que se mira mejor de lo que pensé y también ella dice que, que siente que, se, que está mejor de lo que ella pensaba So Hi Andrea, ahorita la van a ir a traer de comer porque tiene mucha hambre. But she's doing, se mira bien, that's good. I super tired but I couldn't go to sleep and the reason I couldn't go to sleep was because every time I would close my eyes the only thing I could think about is imagine I close my eyes and like I fall asleep and all of a sudden I stop breathing because you could only breathe from your mouth. Like your nose is so swollen, it's sw swollen shut. It's like it's the worst stuffy nose you could ever have in your whole life and so i would get really paranoid and whenever i would close my eyes i would think imagine i close my mouth and then i drown or i die in my sleep and so i would tell my mom mom like can you please um let me fall asleep first just so you can see that i'm still breathing and she would be like yeah of course and so i didn't really sleep that night at all i probably got a good amount of two hours of sleep however for the pain i wasn't really feeling pain it was more discomfort um around my forehead i felt a lot of pressure around my ear i felt a lot of pressure um uh, my mouth was really dry and I, it was like the worst dry mouth i had ever felt all i wanted to do was keep drinking water but of course i had to drink it out of my straw this is um later today probably like how many hours since i got out like yeah like three hours like three hours and my nose keeps dripping blood but i don't feel bad like i just feel uncomfortable from my forehead right here it hurts really bad and like the t sides of my forehead and i'm getting a little more swollen for my eyes but i don't even look like bruised but Maybe I'll get like that tomorrow. And it's just uncomfortable because my mouth, I have to keep breathing from my mouth. Another symptom that I felt is that my upper lip was super tight. Like when I would smile, I would look like this. <laughs> I would literally look like that because my lip was so numb. Like you have to imagine they cut you from here and then they cut you from here and here and so they cut you from here so the sensation in your lip kind of goes away so I couldn't move my upper lip anymore and it felt really tight like when I would try to drink water I would have to drink it out of a straw but yet somehow like my lip couldn't move comfortably so it would be hard for me to do stuff and it would be hard for me to move my mouth and my incisions would hurt if I would smile too much like this these parts of my of my stitches would feel like they're stretching out and like ripping and so I would try not to smile, I would try not to talk. Um, and then, that's what happened for the first day. Basically, I didn't sleep. It was not really that much pain, but of course I was on pain meds, you know, and I was on antibiotics and stuff. And so the second day rolls around, and I didn't really feel much of the second day, but I do have some videos. I do have some photos to include. I didn't. Food. 
I didn't really film that day because that's when I was going back down to California. I was going back up to California. And I was coming back to my house and I was basically on the road the whole time. I wasn't uncomfortable on the road. Again, it was mainly just like the sleeping part. I had to obviously take travel pillows so I could sleep. And another thing is that I would drool a lot because obviously my mouth is wide open the whole time. And I would eat soup and I would just listen to my music. And then I arrived home and... There was very minimal bruising with me, mainly a lot of swelling um, around my eyes and around my mouth. Um, so I was bleeding from my nose and I basically had to sleep with like mm, probably six pillows so I can keep myself elevated in the night. And again, the thing that really sucked is that I couldn't shower. I, I could only shower in the bathtub so I had to obviously wash my body in the bathtub sitting down. And then to, in order to wash my hair, my mom had to wash my hair in the sink. Um, to wash my face, I had to use like towels, like makeup wipes and stuff. So my face got really bad. It got really oily. It got really um, a lot of acne right here. A lot of acne on my nose right here, around my mouth. Probably because of like not being able to wash it properly. Um, it was really hard for me to like see myself like that. But they let me know that that was going to happen and it's totally normal. Hi, so today is the third day post-op. I haven't really been updated yesterday, which was the second day, because I have to drive all the way back to town. However, I'll still include some pictures of how I look like. But... I have very minimal bruising around my eyes. I just feel super swollen down here. Like, you can totally tell it's swollen. It's like, it's really hard for me to move my upper lip. But I think I'm doing way better now. I've been using um, the saving spray to clean the inside of my nose and stuff. And then give you guys pictures when I feel swollen. However, there's still bleeding when he did it. He said to clean it until Monday. Right now it is currently still Sunday. I haven't really been eating that well. Um, maybe like some soups here and there. Um, but not like a good meal that I want to eat. Also... I still can't really breathe through my nose, even though I don't have swoops inside of my nose, I do not have swoops inside of my nose. But yeah, I just said that my nose is going to be super swollen and it's hard for me to talk for a good amount of time because obviously I can't breathe through my nose so I have to keep swallowing. And last night for sleep, it was pretty rough. Um, my mouth tended to be more dry than all of the other days. It was super dry. I just felt really uncomfortable the whole time. And I feel like I haven't had a good amount of sleep. And yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated on uh, tomorrow. This is my side right now. And this is my other side. And I took a shower today for the first time in three days post I took a shower. Well, my mom actually shampooed my hair at the back of the seat like this. And I took a body shower in the bathtub. So, yeah. After the third and the fourth day and stuff, everything basically stayed the same. I didn't really do that many updates because I felt like there was nothing really to update on. Nothing else was new. The swelling was going down. The stitches were falling out. Um, I kept cleaning my nose. And then one week later, so I got my surgery on a Friday. And so I went back the next Friday. And I flew that time. I flew to Tijuana that same day. And I flew back to California that same day. And my cast and he showed me my nose um it looks so good i was so happy i could stop smiling like i i wanted to give him a hug but i thought he was so awkward that i couldn't do that and like i'm so awkward so i didn't do that i was just super happy and he took more pictures of me and he told me that he would have to put another cast on which was basically just tape 
and I was super sad. I was like, no, I thought I was gonna wash my face, but I couldn't. So then I had to go another second week of like showering. My mom had to shower my hair, me showering in the bathtub, uh, me not being able to wash my face. And then the way I took off my cast is I didn't go back to see him. I basically hopped in the shower and it fell off on its own. And that was how it went. Um, the experience was great. I've been wanting this nose job for a long time. I think I did a good job at picking my surgeon. He did an amazing job. He exceeded my expectations. Um, I'm super happy with my results. I love it already. Even though it takes up to a year for your nose for the swelling to go down. And obviously right now I'm not even one month post-op. But yeah, I still love the results of my nose. And, I'll, and at the end of this clip, I'll post a before and after a lot of pictures of my before and after shots I would And I'll show you guys right now how my nose looks like. This is how my nose looks like from the front. And before when I was smile, it would just like look really bad and droopy. And right now, the thing that I feel like is mainly swollen is my tip. If I touch it, it feels like there's a thousand ants in there. And it feels super numb, especially down here. It feels really numb. And then right here, there's like swollenness because as you can tell i'll post a picture this is where i had a big bruise when he did the surgery and that was where i had the bump and so i'm waiting for that to go down but here i'll turn my face to the side so you guys can see me from this angle and then i'll turn to the other side so you guys can see me and I know a lot of people will say that if I didn't need a nose job and everybody had multiple people tell me that I didn't need a nose job that it looks almost the same but to me like the smallest changes make the biggest difference in my self-esteem and I couldn't be any more happier with the results and I'm so happy I went through with this decision that I of getting my nose job it made me so much happier it made me so much more confident um I can and I hope you guys enjoyed my video um if you guys have any more questions in regards to anything please let me know maybe i could do another part of this video where i answer more questions like a q a if you guys have specific questions you guys can dm me on instagram you guys can dm me on twitter you guys can comment on this on this post you guys can do anything but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope i didn't ramble too much i tried to say everything as quick as i can try to be as um, informative as I can without being if I said the whole details this video would be like an hour long so I tried to squish it together into the most information that I could give you guys and thank you for watching